name is Aaron Wolf. I am a DCO evangelist with the Carousel Technology Corporation. Uh, in this short demo, I'm going to talk to you about the Adobe Connect add-in for Microsoft Outlook. Uh, this add-in allows you to manage your DCO room information right from within Outlook. You can create, manage, and incorporate your DCO Connect rooms into Outlook calendar invites. So when you actually install the Connect add-in, it installs in the add-in section of Outlook. There's a little uh, ribbon right here. And notice four buttons. It says Add, Select, Create, and Preferences. We'll cover all these here in a second, but it's usually easiest to start with the Preferences button. Clicking on the Preferences button uh, brings up this dialog box. The login information, this is actually your username and password for DCO. The server and room information, this is the actual Connect Room server. Uh, when you first log on to this, obviously this will be blank, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to hit edit. And then you'll come in here and enter the URL for the server name. Now I don't know if it really matters, but for let's just be safe and enter in the complete server name, which is https colon forward slash forward slash connect call dot dco dot dod dot mil. That's for the Columbus server. Uh, for the uh, San Antonio server, it would be https colon forward slash forward slash connect dot dco dot dod dot mail. Now you'll notice in these server URLs, they don't have the http or the https located on it. I don't know if that makes a difference when entering in, uh, but I know when I entered in https colon forward slash forward slash and then the rest of the server name, I got this to work. So let's just probably be safe and, and enter in the full um, server name. So depending on which server you want to deal with, uh, you can obviously enter in more than one. For this demo, I'm going to deal with the Columbus server, so I'm going to select collect uh, call.dco.dod.mil and click OK. Now with any particular server, you might have more than one room associated with that server. Uh, obviously the first time you log in, this where it says default room will be blank. To associate the quote unquote default room, the room that you want to be primarily working with, you'll click edit. It'll actually kind of log you into the server and it'll bring you up a list of your, your uh, rooms associated with your account on that server. So notice here I have two, family so readiness team meeting and, and virtual collaboration bootcamp. For this demo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select virtual collaboration bootcamp and I'm gonna, here in a second, I'm gonna click set as default. Now the nice thing about this interface is you can actually do what's called customized invitations. Uh, you can, uh, the, the information that you'll populate into the calendar invite from either one of these rooms can be customized. Uh, so if I were to click on customize invitations for this particular room, it brings me up this information. And notice if I do it for the other room, it's going to look a little bit different. So the nice thing is you can personalize each invite, each information that gets populated into a connect, uh, into a calendar invite. You can you can uh, personalize it depending on the particular connect room that you're dealing with, and you do that with the cu customize invitations. If by chance you wanted to set in a, a default room that's the one that's not listed here, what you do is you'd say collect uh, create room. This would actually give you the ability to create a room on the DCO server. So you would type in test meeting room 2013 alpha or something. And then you would go test meeting 2013 alpha. And if you had a, uh, obviously and for DCO there's no uh, ability to include audio conferences. But you click OK and it creates a room for you on the DCO server. That room is actually physically existing now on the DCO server. So, but for this example, we're gonna click virtual collaboration bootcamp is my um, default room. I'm gonna click set as default and I'm gonna click okay. I am now almost ready to go. The next thing I wanna do is I can actually wanna log in. So here, if, if everything goes well here in a second, you will see a green check mark by the login button. It means I've logged in correctly. And we are a go, so I'm just gonna click okay. Now there's many different ways you can actually create a, 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 an event in Outlook. Um, one of the ways I usually do is I like to highlight it and then double click on it and it brings up the particular invite. So in this instance, here's your typical calendar event. I'm going to just call this Brigade Commander Conference Call. It's going to be online via DCO. Um, I'm going to click on the Adobe Connect tab in this calendar invite and it brings me up a whole bunch of settings of new buttons. 
Uh, there's many different things we can do here. We could basically, we could just paste the URL. Now this URL is coming from the default room that we set about 30 seconds ago. So that virtual collaboration bootcamp, this is the actual DCL Connect room URL for that particular Connect session. Uh, sometimes uh, all you will need is the URL, but maybe you want a little bit more information. Maybe you want to pull that customizable uh, invitation uh, in information that you just created. You want to pull the uh, into your calendar invite. You do that by selecting add my meeting room. Boom, right there. It provides a little bit more information, the meeting name, the invited by, the URL, and particular if there was a conference call number uh, running alongside DCO. I now know that it's 555, uh, 555, 555. So that's one thing you do. You can do it. Um, let's say I created this meeting room and I realized, oh, you know what? I didn't want the virtual collaboration boot camp um, connect room. I wanted the other one. So you have the ability to actually switch between rooms uh, right from within this Outlook uh, calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, click select and add meeting room. And instead of the virtual collaboration boot camp, maybe I, yeah, I wanted to use my test room meeting room 2013. So what I'm going to do is highlight that one, click create appointment, and then add to my meeting room. Boom, it's right there. Test meeting room 2013. Of course I forgot to delete this, but boom. There's the information for the different um, URL. Let's say no, I didn't. I I know I have three rooms on my DCO Connect server, but this one I want to be a completely brand new DCO meeting room. Well, from within Outlook, uh, you can actually create a completely new DCO Connect room. Click on Create and Add a Meeting Room. This brings up the same in interface that we saw a while back. Type in the meeting room name, meeting room uh, URL extension. Click OK, and then you can come back and then select it from here. And then boom, okay, that's the one I want. I want the family as team meeting. Add them, and it's right in there. It's really super sweet. And that's oh, basically the, the crux of the matter. From within Outlook, you have these nice, efficient little buttons, whether you wanna just paste the URL, you wanna add the default meeting room, you wanna change in between meeting rooms, you wanna create a completely brand new DCO meeting room. You can do that all from within Outlook. It makes it so much easier managing it from within Outlook than um, doing it by jumping between a, a website, the, the DCO portal, and populating it stuff by copying and pasting and, and that sort of force into Outlook itself. Super, super easy. Uh, with the Adobe Connect add-in for Outlook. So if you have any questions at the end of the stakeholders meeting, I will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have uh, or do some follow-up uh, further demos uh, down the line. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you for being here at the stakeholders meeting. We surely appreciate your support. And that is all for now. Thank you.